How would it feel to be completely disconnected from the outside world, leaving just you and your own thoughts? To find out, I'll be locked inside these three rooms for the next seven days with no social media and no human contact. I'm going to be completely alone. Okay, it's day one, so I guess I better find some stuff to do. I feel like it's important to get into a healthy routine early on. Right, that's lunch. <clears throat> I lost my voice now. Decided I'm gonna eat the stuff that's gonna go off first. I, I hope we don't run out of food. I mean, I, I don't know if I've actually calculated it right. I guess we'll find out. I'm curious over the next seven days to see how much my weight changes as well. So I'm gonna be measuring that. Gotta go take my first measurement now. Yeah, that looks about right. The whole point of me doing this is to try and eradicate some like bad habits that I've had recently, not being exercised as much as I want to be, been using social media too much. So I'm hoping the next seven days provide an opportunity to try and just basically focus a bit more on myself or just develop a vitamin D deficiency, one of the two. Now that alarm is gonna go off every single hour and I'm gonna do 50 press ups to encourage me to do some exercise to try and build some muscle. Now doing 50 in an hour is something that we'd always do when I was at university. Me and the lads at Hustlers, we would always get down and just do 50 every hour. Ugh. I'll do two sets of 25, I think. <sighs> Easy, so you'd have to try. Back to work. I spent some time editing this video before. Here we go again. Quick urine check. Okay, light beer, I think is where we're at, at the moment. Aiming for lemonade, gotta be honest. Le bon appetit. Yeah, it's quite a big portion, isn't it? I'd usually watch a YouTube video now or listen to a podcast, but my only company is this blank wall in front of me. It was just me, myself, and I. Can't believe it's already got to the point where I'm thinking, have I missed any messages yet? I know for a fact my friends have messaged me, and it's made worse by the fact I didn't tell them that I'm not going to be responding to them for seven days. Probably should have told them. And after doing some writing and closing my eyes for a few minutes, the first night was beginning to draw in. Okay, day one is done. I've been pretty productive, actually. Got loads done. Got a Patreon video edited as well tonight. I'm gonna have an early night, though, to be honest, because I've got something tomorrow morning that I'm quite looking forward to. It has been weird not being able to go on social media, not being able to talk to my mates. I think that's gonna become pretty difficult, actually, I think, come the end of the week. Even by day two, to be fair. I slept terribly last night. Probably didn't get to sleep till like half one, two o'clock in the end. Anyway, I'm making pancakes this morning. I don't have a whisk, so I'm using two forks, salad tape together. Uh, yes, we're not doing it in a big bowl. I appreciate that, I don't have a big bowl. Okay, now I have a feeling this isn't gonna go well. This is how pancakes are supposed to be made. Yes. Right. Completely accidental. Oh, that's quite hot as well. It's fine. Try again. Oh, for God's sake. I realise that if I make them a bit smaller, they're going to be easier to flip, I think. Yes, they are perfect. These pancakes don't conform to society's expectations of what a pancake should look like. Pancake I then decided it was about time I did some exercise, so lifted some weights. Oh, and this is the part where I make grunting sounds. <sighs> Too much? Oh, I need a shower. And after I had my shower, it was time to sit at my desk and work hard. Just a quick urine check. Still a light beer this morning. Need to get to lemonade. And after that, I sat down to practice some Spanish. Blah, blah, blah. Who reads books nowadays, you big nerd? Let's pop that in the bin for a start. Pop it in the bin! How dare you cut down the beautiful rainforest, you capitalist pigs! We're in a climate emergency. And as a socially conscious individual and an all-round top bloke, I use the interwebs to learn language instead. Rather than spending 12 nights and on a book you'll never read ever again, you can go to italki.com and pay an actual human being to teach you how to speak the language you're learning from as little as £5 for a 30-minute session. Thus, employing a member of the labour force. Thank me later. You can join a group session and learn with others or you can get one on one and do a nice intimate call with your tutor. Not like that. No, maybe like that. And maybe out of that blossoms a beautiful bilingual relationship through love of language. Or perhaps you already know languages already. Well, you can even become a teacher and get paid for it. And to get started on your italki journey, just click my link in the pinned comment to sign up today. Anyway, where was I? There's been some sirens going off right outside where I live for the last couple of minutes. They've just gone off now. 
the back again. Hopefully nothing serious, um, but I can't look out the window, so maybe it's just a simple arrest. You know, maybe it's just a simple um, drug trafficker or something, I don't know. After getting slightly sidetracked by sirens, it was time for me to get back to editing this video. Lovely. Oh, what a day. I can't believe how quickly it's gone, to be honest with you. It's absolutely flown by. Which should only be a good thing, given the nature of this challenge. Also, it's my mum's birthday tomorrow, and I forgot to tell her about this challenge. Uh. Okay, that is day two over. We have completed another day. Just the five more days to go. Day three. Bit of shell in that one. Yes! I'm a genius! Oh no! Now that's a breakfast. <laughs> what are eggs all about? Is it from a hen? From a chicken? Why are we using their eggs in particular? Why is it not from like a pigeon? Put them to some use. They crap everywhere. Let's look. Come on, give us some eggs. Having made some superb points about the egg industry, it was time for me to work out again. Gotta get those gains, guys. Since my mum's birthday today, I guess I better wrap her presents. I'm gonna see her at the end of this challenge. I'm not missing a birthday, I promise. Just to be clear, this isn't from my mum. It's my dog. My day started to become pretty samey pretty quickly. I would eat, work, eat, and then work some more before heading off to bed at the end of the day. Not exactly the most fulfilling and joyful existence, let's face it. But into day four we went. Another pretty bad night's sleep. Uh, I wonder if the lack of sunlight's maybe having an effect on me, I don't know. It just seems to be taking for ages for me to get to sleep. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Light beer. about halfway through this challenge now. Just got a text from my mum this morning asking if I was all right because I've not been online for a while. <laughs> I don't know how she noticed. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe she'd seen that I've not been seeing stuff in the family group chat, maybe, I don't know. So I had to text back to tell her that I was fine and that I was filming a video. <laughs> I should have told her before I started. But in general, I'm not actually missing social media as much as I thought I would. Like, I'm missing not being able to talk to my friends and reply to their messages and that kind of thing. But the social media aspect of it, while scrolling through some stuff on Twitter, it doesn't really matter, like, it's meaningless. It's all gone by the next day. It's actually allowed me a lot more, sort of, free headspace. And I've come up with a load of new video ideas for the channel. It is also a really sunny day by the looks of it today. That part I am missing as well. <laughs> I ended up working late into the evening trying to get the thumbnail right for this video, but eventually the day came to an end. And just like that, it was on to day five. Since I'd run out of black t-shirts, I decided today would be a wash day. But my morning started off the same as every other day. The same routine, the same breakfast, sat in the same place, stuck in the same four walls. So there was only one solution for this. I realised I had some pancake mix left, so I thought, why not, even though it's lunchtime. I thought I'd make some mini pancakes as well. That was good. I feel a bit sick. Probably the banana. Anyone who says they don't know what British food is, you are looking at it. The best of British. That's proper cuisine right there. Forget your croissants. My days have honestly just become wake up, work, eat, work, sleep. Like, that's literally what my days have become. And I cannot wait for this challenge to be over. It has gone pretty quickly, don't get me wrong. But even still, like, it just, there's an emptiness to the days. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm literally just doing the same things over and over again. I wonder if I've missed anything major. A big death, maybe? A divorce? A murder? I don't know. And just like that, day five was over and I was ready to get on to the penultimate day. Okay, it's day six, the penultimate day. Ugh, struggling a little bit now, to be honest with you, as you'd expect. I'm also running out of food as well, so I don't really know what I'm gonna be making now for lunch. Thankfully, we are at the back end of the challenge now, and it's tomorrow is the last day. Really can't wait, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm running out of foods. That's supposed to be a tuna pasta and potatoes. Carb central. But you gotta do what you gotta do when you're down to your last food. We're in survival mode now. Pasta isn't even cooked properly. Uh, this afternoon I'll just be working on the video once again, working on this very video. I could spend the day, you know, sitting around and, ooh, and reading and meditating and all. Oh. Realistically, I've got a video to make, do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to spend time doing that. Anyway, let's eat. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, et voila. 
Right, let's tuck in. Oh, we're getting so close now to the end. Today's flown by once again, which I'm very happy about. I think just when you get into the routine, the life just passes like so quickly, I think. I mean, if you think about it logically, if you're not having new experiences, not doing new things, rather than your brain storing the same thing over and over again in your memory, it just goes, eh, condense that, it's all pretty much the same. Whereas when you're doing more things, you store more memories. So if time's going quickly, it's usually because you're not doing anything. It's the last day. <laughs> It's not even seven o'clock yet. This is the earliest I've woken up so far. So keen to get on with the day. We're close. We're very, very close to freedom again. I can't wait. Lemonade. I have lost weight. <laughs> even with the pancakes. text from my mate who I've not heard from now for seven days and I couldn't help but read it. We usually speak on a daily basis so you've got to bear that in mind and he says I'm actually missing you quite a bit. Never do this nonsense challenge ever again. <laughs> One thing that hadn't occurred to me about this whole thing is I thought this challenge was just for me, but actually you sort of realise that I'm not just getting rid of my social interaction, I'm depriving somebody else of their regular social interaction. I'm not just negatively affecting me, I'm also negatively affecting them. I feel bad now. <laughs> and he's invited me out for dinner tonight. I mean, we've still got, well, like, 10, 12 hours of this left, but I can't miss this. Like, I can't. I mean, I've done 150 hours. Like, for the sake of an extra 10 or 12 hours, like, what point am I proving? I mean, I think I've demonstrated pretty clearly that life without any connection just isn't life at all. I'm gonna go after another friend. I didn't finish the challenge. Who cares? You stay there inside. I'm leaving. <sighs> this is gonna be so weird. <laughs> oh, it's a sunny day. Oh yes, blue skies. It doesn't get any better than this. We're actually doing it. <laughs> feels so weird. I cannot tell you how good it feels to be outside. And it's sunny. Okay, it's a little bit windy as well, but the sun's out. Oh god, it feels good. I look like a right weird, I just have a grin on my face. <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you in the outfit. 